Hello, welcome to Adam's Antics. I'm your host, Adam. Hope you're doing okay. This is part two of my four video of DC DC uh, graphic novels. At the moment, I'm pretty happy because it's all Eagle Moss, and I wanted Eagle Moss. Uh, needed four out of five I pulled, so yeah, pretty good. Before I go, before I do anything, I just want to quickly think. Right? Um, I was thinking the other day. You know, when you back in Victorian times, Santa would apparently leave you some coal if you were naughty. But I was thinking, well. Wouldn't you want your kids to be naughty? Then you've got coal for Christmas. Just thinking. Yeah, Christmas Day, sorted. Okay, so let's carry on. Okay, so we've got volume 91, which I do not have. Okay, this is Legends, originally published as Legends 1 to 6, November 86 to May 87. So I would have been 8 when this finished. Out of the Ashes of the Great Interdimensional Holocaust comes a new generation of superhero, Wonder Woman, the Suicide Squad, the Flash, and all new Justice League. But first they must take on the fight to finish with the deadly minions of Darkseid the Destroyer in order to earn the right to join Superman, Batman, Captain Marvel and Green Lantern as the mightiest heroes of the modern time. This story of legend. Now, Captain Marvel, you may be thinking that's a Marvel character. No, Captain Marvel was the original name of Shazam. Okay, so... As you can see, I'm wearing my Harry Potter Christmas T-shirt. Okay, I'll, it's only a month I can actually wear it, because I'll be looking a bit weird in June wearing a T-shirt. Okay. I hope all your Christmases are going well, or Christmas plans are all going well. Got all the turkey, the stuffing. So, what does it look on the front? That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, I bet it's going to be old style. Yes, old style graphics old style graphic that's a bit of a shame i remember my uh, brother when we were kids he used to have this on do you make it for me <laughs> do you apologize <laughs> do you apologize uh, i used to have superman wallpaper and that oh jeez i'm glad that scrubby stuff was there do apologize so that's pretty cool so that's another one i needed for my collection Let's go on to book seven. Okay, this is volume two. Oh yes, I need this one for my collection. Hush, part two of two. Spoiler, Hush is actually the reincarnation of the Riddler when he came back after being hurt. Uh, so, originally published Batman 614618, but did you know DC actually stands for Detective Comics? There you go. As deadly game of cat and mouse between Batman and the mysterious villain Hush intensifies, Bruce Wayne must overcome his insecurities to order to save those closest to him. Unsure exactly who is behind the onslaught, Batman has to endure the death of a close friend and the desecration of Jason Todd's grave while battling the Joker and Raz al Ghul. In the end, Batman. In the end, will Batman be able to trust anyone? Uh, Jason Todd, I believe, was a Robin. So great, great artwork on the front, the advertisement. Oh, and it's a modern day graphic novel. So that is pretty cool. So that's another one I need for my collection. There should be three more in here, and there is in fact three more. Okay, so this is issue five. I do not have issue five. Public Enemies, so basically I think this is more likely going to be based on the Batman vs Superman thing. Originally put Published in Superman, Batman 1 and 6, October 3rd to March 2004. Oh, by the way, that was, the Volume 2 was June to November 2003. Man of Steel teams up with a Dark Knight when President Lex Luthor accuses Superman of terrible crimes against humanity. Oh, no, it's not. Batman vs. Superman. While on the run, the world's finest heroes have to take on top-secret team of powerhouses to order to save the Earth from a deadly meteorite and defeat Lex Luthor. Okay, let's see what kind of graphics it is. Again, a very modern art, modern graphic novel. I'm not into char the manga graphic novels. I don't see the point of those, but my guard children, uh, R, K, and M, K, make questions to you. Uh, they love their manga, cosplay and everything, but they don't quite understand the term cosplay. Uh, they think it's just... You know, you sit around your house wearing it. I go, no, you've got to go to conventions. Go dress up as it. So this is... Apparently it's a special 15. 
Was there any specials? I don't know. Well, I don't have it. I'll have to, I'll have to go online and have a look at this. It does... There is a bigger thickness to it, so I'll have to check, okay? So Special 15 is Solo Part 2. Originally Solo Volume 1, issue 7 to 10, 7 to 12, from October 2005 to October 2006, so it's quite a long story. And that's why it's quite a thick comic. Encounters the DC Universe as you've never seen it before, as top creator take it into their own hands. Can Bruce Wayne Penthouse, Apartment Survivor Party with the Teen Titans, and Doom Patrol. What happens to Batman when Dick Grayson falls in love, a.k.a. Robin, uh, falls in love with Criminal and feels at war with his father figure? Can Dead Man help a mysterious girl who is hanging around the city stairwell with no memory how she got there? An impressive second line of a solo artist, Mike Aldred, Ted Christensen, sorry if I'm butchering anybody's names, Scott Hampton, Damien Scott, Sergio Argenis, and Brendan McCarthy know the answers. Okay. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to like this. Just just look at the front come out. I'm not sure if I'm going to like No. No, I am not going to like this at all. Okay, it's all. No. I'm sorry, but no, this is... Uh, I'm sorry, but no, no, that that is ugly. That's not a comic I will be reading. Okay, so the last one of this video... Volume 42. I need this for my collection. Okay, Batman Strange Apparition, originally published as Def Detective Comics 468, 471, and 476, 478, 479, 481, April 1977 to January 1979. So that was four months before I was born. The Joker, Dr. Phosphorus, Hugo Strange, Rupert Fawn, the Penguin, Deadshot, Clayface. The Batman's deadliest of enemies, each has driven the Dark Knight to the brink of annihilation, but only has cheated death itself. Can Batman defeat a foe from beyond the grave, or will he succumb to sinister spout? Uh, a bit of a fact for you, I believe Riddler, one of the Riddlers in the original TV series, was actually played by the guy who, play, who played Gomez Adams in the Adams Family before he got replaced. So, it's a fatal oh, bit more. That It's... Uh, Mid between new and old graphics. Well, that's uh, bullseye, I believe. So, yeah. So, out of 10, I've got one. That is not bad, is it? So, hope you tune in for part three. See you later. Bye for now.